Hello, hello, hello. This is David Duford here at DeFord Insurance Group. I've got Luis Moreno, my ACA Obamacare Biden Care Health Care Extraordinaire. We're going to be talking to you about our ACA sales and marketing program. I'm super excited because we've made some recent adaptations, perhaps we would even call evolutions Hallelujah. that are going to amaze you. Yeah. On uh, how, how and what we're doing to uncover extremely large and scary at scale opportunities in the under 65 health insurance market using the ACA model. So what we're going to start off to with today is kind of a little introduction about Luis, if you don't know him. We're going to talk about some of the pros of the ACA business, kind of why you should think about getting into it. Then we're going to go into our sales and marketing system using what's called ICRA. If you don't know what this is, you'll be glad you did at the end of this. And then we'll conclude by giving you what next steps to follow if you'd like to proceed and join with us. So Luis, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and your background in the business and specifically your experience in the ACA under 65 health insurance market. Guys, I have been an agent since 99, 20 years, okay? Um, been doing health, been doing live, Medicare. Uh, ACA kicked off in 2014 when a bunch of agents said, I'm out, I'm not dealing with Obamacare. Well, you know what? I dove in head first and it turned out to be great. So 2014, when nobody even knew how to navigate healthcare.gov, when it took you an hour to, to actually process yeah. an app, way Remember back that. Then, it was awful, awful. But it is beautiful now, guys. It is so streamlined. And all those rumors, David, I think I spread every rumor out there. Obamacare sucks. Don't do it. There's no money in it. The certifications are awful. You're going to spend days. You know what? Just send me the business. I'll do it. <laughs> Man, I, I loved it. But guys, it's completely opposite. The money's great. The certification is super easy when you compare it against Medicare. And on top of that, this, I look at this, I look at ACA as like the gateway drug. Okay. And you're like, what, what are you talking about? The gateway drug. Okay. You start off with this, you know, and then you end up with something worse. Well, it's the opposite with, with, with ACA. Start off with ACA. It, it brings the blood in and you get paid well while you have it. But then eventually those people are going to turn into 65 year olds. If you're doing Medicare and you want that elusive, you want that, uh, that, that the, the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, those people that are turning 65. Well, guess what? You make your own rainbow. You make your own pot of gold right there with that ACA base. And if you're doing life insurance, well, you know what? They need life insurance. If you're a PNC guy and you want to build your PNC book, use your ACA book of business to do that. So ACA is a gateway drug. And I will tell you this, David, this is huge right now. We are in a kind of like an open enrollment right now, guys. Right. So if you don't know this, guys, if you're thinking, oh, I want to do this, but I'm going to wait. Oh, hell no. Okay, right now, uh, new administration created this low-income SCP. If they fit the window, 100 to 150% of the federal poverty level, and I have a chart for all of our ages to share, if they're in that window, and I'll give you an example, a family of four making less than $40,000 will qualify. If they're in that window, they have an open enrollment. They can join or they can change. It is beautiful, guys. And this is happening right now. It's live all the way up to the end of the year. Right. And, and it gets better because we're going to talk about a way to scale this activity where you can write ACA all year long, not at the end of the year, but and also with pretty much anybody that would fit the profile. So there's no household income limitation. So more on that in a minute. I want to take a moment here, Luis, again. Imagine we're talking to somebody right now who's just finding out about ACA. They're going to ask questions like, how does the compensation model, um, what is underwriting like? Like, can you kind of give us like a, a thousand foot overview on like how the pay works in ACA? What makes it advantageous relative to other products like life? And uh, kind of go over how you write a person up and what that process is like. Yeah, I'll do a little quickie overview. As far yeah. as underwriting, no underwriting pre-existing conditions are covered. So you can take that thick manual, underwriting manual, and throw it out the door. <laughs> right. Okay, you're done with that one. Now, what you do have to do is during through outside of open enrollment, which is November to January the 15th, you have to find a special election, a way to get them in. I just talked about one right now, the low income ACP. Okay, there's all these different elections that you can utilize, just like Medicare to get in. 
Okay. But once you find a way in, and there's lots of ways in, guys. Okay. This low income SCP, it is brand new for 2022. Have no idea if they're going to extend it for 2023. And it wasn't, it, it, we didn't have it prior to this. Okay. Um, so you got to take advantage of it. Okay. So outside of getting in, once you're in, guys, we have an enrollment platform. Okay. You will quote on our platform. You will issue a policy on the platform and you will manage your book on this one platform. And guess how much that platform costs, David? Zero. Nada. It's yours. Okay. You get your own beautiful platform where you can manage your ACA book of business. Okay. Now, as far as pay is concerned, well, yeah, yeah. As far as pay is concerned, I'm going to throw a generic number and it's pretty close. It's going to vary because carriers, uh, there's actually some carriers right now that aren't paying for new business. So, so we have a little uh, acronym, stay away from the mob. Okay. A couple of carriers you got to worry about. <laughs> Molina, Oscar, and Bright Health. These three carriers right now, throughout the remainder of this year, are not paying commissions. Now, in open enrollment, they will just go back to normal and pay everybody. But they just don't want this low-income SCP right. uh, clientele. But outside of that, guys, uh, of 30-foot overview, 34,000 overview, 20 uh, you get paid a, a per member per head. It's not a commission. Okay, It's not a percentage of the premium. You're going to get paid on how many members you enroll. So to give you a quick idea, and I'm doing 20, guys, David, I think, you know, it depends on- It the ranges, area. and guys, below this video, you'll see the commission levels for the state you're in and yeah. what the payout will be. If you don't see them, click the contact link above on my uh, daviddeford.com homepage and just message me which state you're interested in comps for, but you should see it all below this video. But just for the sake of example, Luis is just using a, a range kind of right. where most will be. So go ahead, Luis. And, and I'm not a math guy. So that's why I like using 20 bucks. Okay. Right. <laughs> $20 a head time. This is you go write mama, you write dad and two kids, four heads times four. That's $80. Okay. You annualize that. And that's $960. It's a thousand dollar commission on a, on something that probably took you no more than half an hour. Payable for life. As long as they're on the books, right? Yes, it is. And, and if you flip them to another company, they continue. The renewal commissions are the same as the new business commissions. So this so is a residual works. income earning opportunity, guys. That's what makes ACA like very exciting. It's a substantial. Huge, huge. You know, and I'm going to do some quick math. Let's say you have 100 heads. 100 heads, you're making $2,000 a month. That's four families. That's 25 families of four. I mean, that's nothing. You go in there and you have a thousand hits. You're making $20,000 a month. And guys, we know people in our organization. I did it myself. We're writing seven, 800 policies in one enrollment season. It can be done, guys. It can. And be that's done. just in an enrollment season. Wait till we start talking about the off season stuff. That's just that, again, hate to hype this so much, but it really is worth it as you'll get to. Um, Louise, talk about the bonuses. I think that's worth oh, mentioning too. Oh my God. Yeah. On top of the commissions, guys, on top of the commissions that we receive every single month, there each carrier has they they finally have cracked the code with Obamacare with the, this Affordable Care Act. They're making money, so now they want to acquire clients. And what's the best way to incentivize an agent to push clients their way? Bonus. <laughs> we love bonuses. Cha Ching. So yes bonusing okay so every carrier right now has a bonus structure some are terrible but i'm gonna tell you about the best one that we have right now and i'm not going to mention carriers but this one carrier if you exceeded more than 150 heads they paid you a bonus of 150 dollars per head so if you had 300 heads with this carrier times 150 that is your bonus guys yeah. Crazy. Sick, man. On top of the commissions. Now, this one carrier paid a 150. That was kind of like an anomaly. The majority of them paid about 100 a hit. Yeah. Still incredible. That's yeah. on top of your monthly commissions. Right. And on top of that, David, when they sign up with us, do you think I'm only going to teach you how to sell ACA? <laughs> no. You're crazy. Plenty of I'm other gonna opportunities. You, I'm going to teach you how to bundle. Okay. These people that are coming to you for healthcare. You know, our ACA plans don't cover dental or vision. Mm -hmm. And if they do, right. it's super, super limited. 
So you're going to bundle it with dental and vision. You're going to bundle it with an indemnity plan that helps cover that out of pocket. We're going to teach you how to put this together. And then guess what? Most of our agents sell life insurance. Why not? Why not? And these are younger people. Why not throw out a term quote to them? Mm -hmm. It may be a small whole life or a universal, you know, who knows? You, you decide you're the agent, but now you're able to package. So this, this thousand dollar customer turned into a $1,500 customer like that. A couple of things here, just, just some off comments. I've been doing this for 11 years, you a lot longer. And one of the things I've always noted that a lot of agents don't really, especially new ones in the past five to 10 years don't really see is that it, before the ACA came in and changed healthcare, and, and this, it was a long, hard drought of really tough health insurance business. It just wasn't viable really until a couple of years ago, and it's just getting better each year. One of the things that health insurance agents would say is it's so much easier, and this is the benefit, I think, on the one hand, of selling ACA. It, people want to talk to you about health insurance. They, they want to see what programs are out there that maybe they could get a better deal on. A lot more often than they want to talk about dying, like life insurance. Generally, what agents say is it's easier to get into the door to talk about health insurance and other products, especially, especially, Luis, when it comes to talking to businesses, which kind of leads me to <laughs> um, our primary strategy I've been talking and hyping here is using this concept called ICRA to do the ACA not just one to one, one agent to one family, but at a very massive scale in a, in a, in a way we just have never really seen uh, up until this implementation of this program. So Louise, tell us what ICRA is and why agents should care. Okay, so ACA is typically an individual plan. You're meeting with mom, dad, and you're writing them, okay? And so you've got to have a lot of individual appointments. And it can be done, guys. Uh, I, and we'll talk marketing later, but man, um, easy to do. You just got to get yourself in front of a ton of people. Now, this is the a strategy to use to enroll, to scale this individual uh, strategies. And this is the strategy, guys, okay? And this is new, okay? ICRA, which stands for Individual Coverage health reimbursement account. Okay, that's a tough one, all right? What it is, it, it, is a, it is an employer can establish an ICRA. It is the alternative to group coverage. Alternative, it's not in addition to it. It's either, they either have a group plan, an employer sponsored group plan, or they have an ICRA, or they have nothing, okay? Now, I'm gonna paint a scenario for you, and then I'm gonna share my screen, because I think it's, I shared it with you earlier, Dave. I think it's gonna- Yeah, please do. Build this out, okay. So if you walk into an employer, you're knock, knock. Hey, uh, David, this is Luis Moreno. Hey, uh, by the way, David, you know, you're, you know, David Duford business. You've got 10 employees. Do you have a group plan? You know, most em small employers do not. The usual response, I get two responses from small employers. Number one, they've never thought about it. They're like, I don't know. You know, why not? Quote me. Let's see what it is. Okay, well, great. Let's rock and roll. But the typical employer will say, I can't afford it. Let me give you an idea of what this non-affordability is for employers when we're talking about group insurance. Okay, look at this, guys. The I wrote these two groups, okay? Um, this group number one is a young, healthy, level-funded group, okay? This is a, a, a group with a lot of young 20-year-olds and, and older 30-year-olds, okay? Look, if you pay attention here, we enrolled 16 employees and the employee rate, you got to look at over here at this top, this final portion, the employee rate was $387. You're like, well, that's not too bad. Okay. The employer is responsible for 50% of that. So let's do some quick math. 387, divide that by two. It's 193 and they have 16 employees. The employer is paying three grand a month just to provide this benefit to the employees, okay? They may not, a lot of employers may not have that in their budget. Now, this is a young, healthy group. Look at the group right below it. This is an older group, okay? Look at the, now this is an older group of only three employees. Look at the employee rate, $1,400, okay? Small group, all right? Total premium is 4,400. 
the employer is responsible for 50% of that. Okay. So in th this is why a lot of these small businesses don't have group insurance. So ICRA, ICRA is an option. So uh, Mr. Business Owner, you know, have you, have you ever heard of ICRA? No. Okay. ICRA is the alternative to group. What ICRA is, you establish an ICRA, okay? An ICRA allows an employer to, di to, to discriminate in, in a sense on different employees, whether you're know, hourly, uh, salary, managers, uh, 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 rank and file. You know, there's 10 categories where you're going to put employees. Then what you do is you determine what you want to contribute. 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Or let's just say, you know, I've got, you've got 10 employees, David. One of them is a manager you can't live without. The other nine you can replace. So you're like, you know what? My manager, I need to make sure this guy is well taken care of. I'm going to give him 500 bucks a month. But the other nine guys, I'm going to give them 50 bucks a month. Great. What happens with the NICRA? You determine what you want to contribute. Okay. Then some back, there's some work that needs to be done, but ultimately the amount of money will is, going to, is going to fall under a threshold. Either it's affordable or it's unaffordable. Okay. The threshold varies for every employee based on their age. Right. Okay. So depending on where they're at, here's where an agent wins. An agent wins because now when this employer has established the ICRA, it creates a 60-day SCP. An SCP is a special election. It allows you, it allows all 10 of those employees, regardless of what year, what day of the, of the year it is, it opens up a window for them to enroll. Does and income it, matter? Does it, their income matter? Nothing. There Age is, matter? No, the, the ICRA matters. The fact that an ICRA was just created. Now, there's some work that needs to be done. Let's just say we've got our 10 employees. Employee number one is your manager. You enter some data. There's, a, there's some work that's done but it's going to tell me employees one threshold mm -hmm. the threshold is here. If it is over the threshold, it's considered affordable with that employee and his family. We can enroll them in a plan, ACA plan, individual tailored to that employee. I can write it as the agent. I make money. Okay. Cause I, I've got a, a full enrollment and then he can use your $500 to subsidize his plan. That's employee one. Employee two through 10, you're only going to give those guys 50 bucks. It, we already know that's going to be unaffordable. So now what happens with those other nine employees, I get to enroll them in an ACA plan, but they get to, they get to use subsidies if they qualify for it. All of a sudden, with one stop, I now have the ability to, to enroll 10 employees and their families and make money on all on, on every single member that enrolled. So think about yeah. this, y'all. Like, think about this. So we talked about in the original example, <clears throat> mom, dad, and two kids, four heads, right? That's nine, six a year, right? You worked hard to find that one family. Well, if you walk into, I don't know, a restaurant, let's say, you now don't, you'd say you find the same stuff, but times 10, 10 opportunities, any time during the year, not at the end of the year, to do a special election period granted by the government, created by this ICRA. And so, and there's no stipulations on the employer either that they have to fund the ICRA. It's not whether or not they can fund it, it's whether or not they choose to. That's the creation of the ICRA, correct if I'm wrong here, Luis, yes. that triggers the SCP to then go to each of these families and basically do an enrollment for individual policies. A couple of things here that just strike my fancy. I think of like, imagine a, a trucking company or a company that has transient workers, right? This is, there are a lot of companies out there that aren't really good risks for group sales. These now are viable prospects because these clients own their own coverage that are now subsidized if deemed unaffordable by the US government. You guys are driving past hundreds of these places all day long. And a lot of them really would want to get their coverage on a group level for their people because they care about their employees, but it's otherwise unaffordable. You now have the answer to that solution and nobody's doing it. 
That's mm-hmm. what's crazy about this. It is wide open. What, and I will tell you, who's your target market? Businesses under 50, I would say, because those yeah, guys are sure. small business. It's tough. Franchisees, subway owners. Okay. You go to a strip center, all of those shops in the strip center, the florist, okay, the vape shop, the, uh, you know, yeah. whatever, all those little, the gun shop, all those little shops in the strip center. Guys, that's a target market. Park on one end and just walk up and down. Okay. All day long. And they'll talk to you guys. Business owners are easy to approach. You may think, oh, I got a cold call. Well, when you walk in and you talk about how you can help their people uh, and, and potentially have it to where the employer doesn't pay anything, they'll listen. Because trust me, most of them have looked at it and realized how silly it was like Luis showed you. They just don't want to pay that because it's just so expensive. It's not in their budget. No. That's, it's tough. You know. Um, and, 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 and I'm going to throw one thing out, David, real quick. The, well, go. I'll, I'll top it. I'm going to hit that at the very end. Go sure. ahead. Just, my mind. just again, I, w- I want to paint the picture here how big this opportunity is, because it's not just ACA. It's everything we said too: dental, vision, life products. You in, we even talked about the business owner who probably is making OK money, probably is a great prospect for health insurance, probably got ACA, too. On top of the fact, or needs it, on top of the fact, life insurance opportunities, maybe key man deals, right? Like there's so much opportunity that this program gets you in the door to do. It's just, it's incredible. And again, this is a new program. Very few people know about this. And this is really the cutting edge of what I think is a great opportunity to help Americans who are underinsured or not insured and get access to otherwise where they would have to wait to the end of the year. Luis, go ahead. You know, I'm trying to find a slide here uh, that I had prepared. But um, regardless, there right now, nationwide, last year, 2021, 20,000 people enrolled using the ICRA SCP. And the next couple of years, they're predicting 20,000 is a drop in the bucket. No, ain't nothing. They're predicting 5 million people utilizing an ICRA to enroll into an individual ACA plan. Remember, an ICRA is not health insurance. It is a, uh, um, uh, it's like a- It's like a, a third-party administration yeah, program. Yeah, and, and, I, and, we, yeah. And, and here's the deal, guys. I will tell you, this is not an easy topic. Okay, this, this right. is the beauty of this thing. This is a very complicated issue. You just can't go in on this kind of like, eh, okay, I'll, I'll talk. No, no, you have got to be knowledgeable. So what happens on the big scale of things? You go into a business owner, David, my business owner that I just went and go, doctor says, I'm interested. I want this. Okay. Now, first thing we have to do is we got to give, we got to partner up with a third party administrator that's going to administer the ICRA. There's going to be a cost to the employer. I think it's like $500 annually. And then every employee that enrolls in the ICRA into this plan not the, not, the, not a health plan, but into this program, there's going to be a monthly cost. I think it's like five or ten bucks a month. This they're they're going to have a website where they can where where they they're going to submit their receipts and their request for reimbursement. So there's a management portion to the ICRA, which you guys don't do. We as agents aren't going to mess with that. That is a third party administrator's job. What you're going to do as the agent. Is your this third party administrator is going to give every employee a ICRA letter, the start date? That is going to be your documentation for the establishment of this SCP. Now, what you do is our tool that we use to help you enroll. They have a calculator. You're going to take David's 10 employees. We're going to get a census on an Excel. We're going to fill it out. You go to the site, you submit it. In a matter of seconds, it's going to tell you the baseline. Okay, so I'll know for employee one what his baseline is. And then David wants to contribute more or less. More means it's affordable, less means unaffordable. Affordable ICRA, no subsidies, but you can enroll them. Unaffordable ICRA, you can enroll them, but they get subsidies. It is, it is, it is, you know, it's a scalable, it, this thing is crazy. You, I mean, it is. You, you know, you do 10, you do one of those every month, that's a $10,000 a month. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, or, yeah, I mean, think about it. If you walk into, if you get five businesses a month 
that you can enroll 10 people in and they've got an average household of four, that's 10 times 10 times four. So that's 400 heads, which that you may think that's crazy, but dude, it's out there. It's out there. You could now, it may take more than a month and roll off them, but that's a lot of money every month right there. Residual. You don't pay anything either, guys, on a marketing standpoint. You know, just a little sweat equity, a little sweat yeah. walking up and down, knocking on that door, walking in and letting them know you're the guy that's going to provide them with an alternative to group insurance. Huge, so, huge. And here's what you, the timing. Not a lot of agents are going to take the time to become an expert in this. No. Nine out of 10 agents are going to say, no, nah, I'm just going to stick with individuals. But that one out of 10, if you're interested, this one out of 10, you're going to be able to scale. And with right. one stop, enroll 10, 20, 30 people. Yeah. If you believe in scale, if you believe in the one to many approach, and you can see ahead of where this is going to go. This is, this is, this is a ground floor opportunity and it's, and it's absolute earnest sense. So a couple other things here as we wrap up, Luis, um, kind of summarize kind of what can an agent expect uh, when they come to work with us as far as the sales side and the knowledge side that, you know, we've talked a little bit about it, but how do we get agents onboarded and ready to go out there and confidently sell this stuff? Yes. So this is what we do. So we're not the contract you and just hope that you're going to sell kind of organization. We're going to do some things for you. Number one, if you want to do this, you're going to contract and you're going to go get certified. Certification is kind of, it's compared to Medicare, super, super easy. Yeah. But if you have never done Medicare, like you don't have a baseline to compare it against, a um, couple of hours on the certification and you're done. One time a year and in every year you have to renew it. My renewal certification took five minutes. Okay, so it's not huge to get recertified. Okay, once you get that done, you're like, okay, now what? We are going to train you guys. I have a four-week ACA 101 course, okay? It's on Zoom. It's 8.30 a.m. Central, okay? Join me. We, we, every month, I recycle the class. But I'm going to take you from not knowing anything other than you've contracted and certified, and I'm going to show you how to set up your enrollment platform, your quote platform, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do all that. I'm going to give you a great foundation on healthcare so that you know what you're talking about when you're quoting. And then we're going to finish off with how to enroll and how to bundle. So we're going to teach you all that. We're just not going to leave you out in the world to figure it out. So we've got that coming or well, that's part of what you get when you partner with us. Second thing, okay, is we have a chat room for only our ACA agents. This chat room, every single Five minutes, we got an agent posting a question on there. Hey, Luis, or, or hey, I got this scenario. Can you help? Our chat room is awesome for you guys to join and, and answer questions. That I consider not time sensitive. And here's my category of time sensitive or not. Time sensitive means you're not sitting with a client and are going to lose a deal. You just have a general question and you enter it there in the chat room. It's on your phone or on your computer. The chat room is. Now, time-sensitive question is you're sitting in front of a client and you're stuck. I'm going to be the guy that's going to unstuck you. So I, most of the time, and, I, and right now I have it on mute, but guys, I'm on my phone. I'm, you know, That's when I expect the call from you guys, the support side. Hey, Luis, I'm sitting with John right now. Here's the question. How do we overcome this? Or how do I answer this? And usually I'm like, put me on speaker. I'll knock it out. Right. Okay. We overcome it. It's a quick one minute, two minute call. We're done and it allows you to proceed. So three levels of support, the, the, the Zoom training that I do every month, the chat room, and then you get me when you're stuck in that time sensitive situation. That's what you get when you partner up with us. Awesome. So here's the next steps to do that. If you like what you've heard, I hope you do. Uh, you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, below this video, there's a link that says daviddoford.com forward slash FAQ. Either type that in right now or look below the video and click it. If you're watching this on our overview page and you want to proceed, you're likely already at the FAQ page. So just keep rolling down the page to kind of go over some other details of the ACA strategy. And you'll see links to how commissions work. You'll see links to the carriers that we ask you to pick up and how to start the enrollment process with the carriers. Uh, once you're enrolled with the carriers, it's at that point that we'll get you access to the sales training side of things. 
and uh, get you in the studying process so you can go out there and confidently and competently, competently talk about ICRA. Or if you just want to sell again individual ACA, that's fine too. Um, we'll happily take agents who are selling Medicare that want to sell ACA or PNC agents that want to cross sell it or just work their existing network too. But we're really excited about the ECRA strategy just because it's such an untapped market and the potential is enormous. So uh, anything else, Luis, for a wrap it up? No, I think this is, guys, this is a hell of an opportunity for you. Guys. Yeah. We are in, you, you know, you don't have to wait till the end of the year. Do it now. Get certified right. now. Start selling now. You mentioned PNC. This is huge. I have a PNC shop. You know. <laughs> okay, I will tell you, most of my colleagues are struggling. They can't hit their metrics. They're going backwards in premium. Their commissions are going down. We keep rocking and rocking and rolling. And why? Because I'm bringing in ACA clients and I'm not that, I'm not all that smart, but I'm definitely not dumb. Okay? <laughs> I will tell you, when I bring an ACA client in, David, you know, we wow them, we talk to them, we, we tell them, hey, we get this set up. But then PNC guys, take this one client and you can cross out everything that you have in your portfolio. So PNC guys, you're watching this. You gotta offer AC. Right. I know what you're going through. This is an incredible market to acquire right. a lot of clients, get paid well, and cross them to your PNC book. And awesome. what about your PNC book? Yeah, you don't want them going somewhere else because if that agent is smart, he's gonna have all these other products. Nail down your clients, put some more hooks on them, keep them on the books, and offer ACA to your existing book. Luis, thank you. Appreciate it. And guys, you know what to do. Click the link below. Scroll on down if you're on the page already and uh, learn how to get enrolled and start the process of working with us. Luis, thanks so much as always. Appreciate it. You're welcome, guys. Bye.